Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Fredriksson and today we are going to be talking about speed ramping. Now speed ramping can be very useful. It can be used for transitions or just a normal speed ramp. But to start showing you how you can speed ramp, I'm going to pick out a few clips that will fit this song. All right, now I've picked out a few clips just to show you how you can speed ramp. Now, the first thing that people usually do is uh, this. They go to speed and duration and you can change the speed there. This is quite good if you are just changing the speed of the clip and you don't want to do anything else. Then it's a fast method and good and valid method. But you don't get enough controls in my opinion when you do this method. So for me, what I like to do is this. So I'll find something right here. All right, we want to start the speed ramp right there. So we would, what, what people do is they do a cut and then do a speed and duration right here. But this is inefficient and not good. You go to time, remapping and speed. And uh, then you can change the uh, keyframe right here. You need to do it a bit bigger if you don't see the keyframe. Uh, and then you can drag it up. You can see how the click gets smaller as you drag the speed up and you can see actually the speed right there is at 300%. I know for the, for the fact that uh, because I was flying the drone so slow that around 1500 to 2000 is quite good for this. We want to have it right there but the good thing you can do right here is you can drag this thingy over right there. Okay so I can drag it up because I know it wasn't matching quite good. I can also drag it up so it's it's going to ramp up the speed as we go. You can also change the keyframes right here so you can do something like that. So it's like ease in or ease out. I might want to have it a bit faster. That's quite good. We're gonna for for uh, this sake we're gonna just leave it at that. Now if you're doing a transition, uh, this is a great way to do it. You want to go to the next clip and you want to do the exact same thing you want to do time remapping speed and then add a keyframe on where you want it to stop now i want it to stop somewhere around here probably is good keyframe drag on the other side i want to drag around the same speed as i had before just so it matches a bit And then you can speed it up a, again, and I'm gonna do this a couple of times, and then I'm going to show you how it, how the final product looks with a minimal amount of work. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me. And that's it, uh, you already saw the final product, you can see that it looks quite good. Uh, the main thing is just choose the right clips for your speed ramp. Some clips are not going to translate very well to speed ramp and are not going to look quite well. Note that you try to move in the same direction or on a different axis. If you move forward speed ramp and then backward speed ramp, that's probably not going to translate well and not going to look well or look good. So yeah. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you like the content that I make and you are interested in filmmaking or in video editing, then please subscribe. And I will be making a lot more of these short little tutorials, also vlogs and then travel things. And then I will break down the content that I make. So I'll see you in the next video.